everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation. So, let's get started. Problem, solve dy by dx plus y log y by x minus log y equals to 0. Solution. Given differential equation. dy by dx plus y log y by x minus log y equals to 0. Consider the given equation as equation 1. So now we are going to reduce the given equation to linear form. Okay. Then dy by dx. You can take this term to RHS. You will get minus y log x. Sorry. y log y by x minus log y. Then, you can make cross multiplication. x minus log y into differential dy equals to minus y log y into differential dx. Right. We have these two terms, right? So, now we can write this as minus y log y dx equals to x minus log y into dy. Now, multiply the whole equation with minus, then you'll get so you can write directly but Few people may not understand, so I'm writing one more step here. Okay, minus into minus plus, you get y log y dx equals to minus of x minus log y into dy. Right? It is always easy. To split the fraction having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator right so here you're having two terms and this is one term right y log y is a single term so if you can take this term to RHS you can split the whole expression into two terms that will be easy if you bring this here it will not be that easy to solve right so, what we'll do is we'll simply take this term to RHS and we'll bring this dy to LHS. Then we'll get dx by dy equals to minus x minus into x minus x minus into minus plus log y by y log y. Now, we are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator. So, we can split the whole expression into two terms. Then we'll get dx by dy equals to minus xy y log y plus log y y y log y. So now you can cancel y, so log y from the last term. Now we are having dx by dy equals to minus x by y log y plus 1 by y. Now take the term involving x to LHS. You will get dx by dy plus x by y log y equals to 1 by y. Then dx by dy. You can just write the y equation as dy by, sorry, dx by dy plus function of y into x equals to 1 by y, which is linear in x, right? You are having dx, x, functions of y. So, from this we can say that it is linear in x. We know that
the standard form of linear equation in x is dx by dy plus p into x equals to p where p and q are either functions of y alone or constants. Right? So, again, by comparing these two, we get p and q. See, we have reduced the given equation to linear in x form. Where p equals to one by y log y and q equals to one by y. Both are functions of y alone. See, it does, it does not involve any other variable other than y, and this also does not involve any other variable other than y. So we call these two as functions of y alone. Now we need to find the general solution. Okay, before going to general solution, we need to find the integrating factor. Integrating factor. We know that the integrating factor of linear equation in x is given by integral p d y. Firstly, let's find integral p d y is equal to integral of p equals to 1 by y log y into d y. Again, you can write this as 1 by y by log y into d y. Both remains the same. See, 1 by y by log of y is equals to 1 by y into log of y. Into 1 by log of y. Okay. Both are same. So now let log y equals to f of f, sorry, f of y. Then derivative of f of y will be derivative of log y with respect to y is 1 by y. Right? Since we know that integral f dash of y by f of y into dy equals to log mod f of y plus c. So, here you are having f dash of y by f of y. So, you can apply this formula here. This equals to log mod f of y for f of y equals to log y. We won't write c here. If we write c, we'll get some positive number. Okay? And again, in the formula of general solution, finally we'll write C. It is enough to write one C. Okay, no need to write an integrating factor. Is equals to you can write this as log of log y integral one by y log y equals to let log y equals to some u. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to x, sorry, with respect to y. Derivative of log y is 1 by y, that is derivative of log y with respect to y is 1 by y equals to du by dy. Now bring this du, sorry, dy to LHS, you will get 1 by y dy equals to d. Now we can just split this as 1 by y into 1 by log y into dy this equals to now it is easy okay let me write one more step 1 by log y into 1 by y into dy now you can replace one sorry log y by u and 
1 by y dy by du then we'll get integral 1 by u into 1 by y dy can be replaced by du so this equals to integral 1 by u du is log mod u or log u again replace u by log y which is equals to log log y then our integrating factor becomes e power integral p dy is log log y since we know that e power log some function of y equals to function of y from this we'll get function of y that is log y so here our integrating factor is log y now we can find the general solution we know that the general solution of linear equation in x is given by x into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dy plus c. Okay. Now using this formula we will find the general solution to the given equation. The general solution of the given equation is x into integrating factor log y equals to integral q. So q equals to 1 by y square. See here our q is 1 by y not 1 by y square sorry. 1 by y into integrating factor log y into dy plus c. We have reduced the given equation to linear in x, right? So here p is 1 by y log y and q is 1 by y not 1 by y square, okay? I made a mistake earlier, so please correct it. Now, let log y equals to some t. Let log y equals to t. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to y. Derivative of log y with respect to y is 1 by y equals to dt by dy. Now bring this differential dy to LHS you'll get 1 by y dy equals to dt, right? Now we can replace log y by t and 1 by y into dy by dt. Now just we can rewrite it as log y into 1 by y into dy. Let's see now it is, it will be easy to replace log y by t and 1 by y into dy by dt plus c is equal to integral t dt is t square by 2 plus c since t equals to log y so let's replace t by log y then x log y equals to Replace t by log y, you'll get log y whole square by 2 plus c. Okay, you can leave it like this or take the LCM of these two, you'll get 2 as your LCM and in the numerator you'll get log y whole square plus 2 into c 2c. Then x log y equals to log y whole square plus since c be constant 
So 2c can be written as again a constant c by 2. Now we can bring this 2 to LHS. You will get 2x log y equals to log y whole square plus c. So we have seen a problem from linear equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.